Well, I just I just paid twenty two dollars for a for a quick service hamburger. I I can't believe it. What's a quick service hamburger? Well, fast food. Why was it that the, much? You walk up to the counter, you order it, and then you take it back, and they they expect a tip now for that. A, a, a fast oh. food hamburger is what they call a slider. <laughs> well, <laughs> they just slide down. They slide, they slide all the way through. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Remember White Castle? Why, is yeah, it White I, Castle that cut the, the White Castle is where the slider yeah. came from. Yeah. They're <laughs> awful. <laughs> the slider. Yeah, someone lost Vegas. Vegas. When I was in college, people would drive on the weekend 60 <laughs> miles to Indianapolis so they could get sliders. <laughs> I had some White Castle for the first time in Las Vegas last summer, and that was awful. I didn't like it. Huh? Yeah. It means it hasn't improved with age, I guess. I guess not. <laughs> but okay, you can buy a hundred of them for like a buck. It looks yeah, like exactly. I, buy I got. I'm I'm the host tonight by default. I think. And Alan, I, I, Bill's not going to be here. He's he's a he's his wife came up with something they had to do. So he gives he is being excused. And uh, I'm going to be the host if I can remember how to do it. Now, is tomorrow night Six Springs? Tomorrow night is Six Springs. And uh, our, our inaugural and closing performance. Inaugural there. and closing. But in April, you know, we may have a uh, first Thursday at uh, Guitars and Grellers. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, Jeff. McKinney or in Richardson? Jeff, what's his name? Start us to, uh, Jeff Gross. Uh, steered us on to that today, and I talked to Ricky Jean, and, and Ricky Jean's going to go by and talk to him tomorrow. And, oh, uh, instead of Cafe Bohemia? Yeah, probably, yeah. I mean, you mentioned that to me, yeah. Yeah. Growlers would be a lot closer. Unless, yeah, if, unless if we can do growlers, yeah, or... I mean, that's, 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 that's a no-brainer right there, yeah, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, it would be the Ricky, about... it, it, we, we would do the same show that we do at Love and War. It's, I don't know. I still like going one at a time. Well, yeah, but the uh, Guitars and Growlers has an open mic on Wednesday, and they don't want to follow it with another open mic with the same oh, okay. same format. So. We should show them who's boss. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. to both Cafe Bohemia and Guitars and Growlers. Guitars and Growlers is a, a much more conducive venue cool for what we do i think hey chris how you doing hello Check guys check. let's see what i got here check, this check. time i'm ready harry so you tell me when to go uh okay well i'm gonna i'm not even gonna bother with the, with the screen or anything i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go over there and uh and since Bill's not here, I will uh, accept his uh, apprenticeship and say, ladies and gentlemen, your original sound on. Original sound on, okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Keith. Mine was off. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Uh oh, I did it wrong there. I'm gonna have to start over. So, what time is Six Springs tomorrow? Uh, uh, seven to ten. Seven. seven to ten, I think. I'm pretty sure. Definitely confirmed. Oh, seven to ten. We've got some extra time. So, what's the piano story there? Well, they have a. Electronic Baby Grand on stage. Oh, really? So I might can play. Well, assuming they've got it hooked through the sound system, if we got a sound. Normally it is. Question. Normally it is. Somebody's got to put a mic up to the player on, on the stage. But then I guess, I mean, I'm assuming that they will have Ace somebody. Pounder, hit it. Somebody to run sound on stage. Well, welcome to our party. We hope to make you smile At least forget your problems for a while 
You needn't leave your laptop or even leave the room For the pretty darn good Opry on the zoo With the pretty darn good Opry on the zoo We'll play for you like we're sitting in your room So sip the beverage of your choice And listen to the voice of the pretty darn good Opry on the zoo well, what a cast of characters we have for you online. Pretty soon we'll have you feeling fine. With wit and Texas wisdom, we'll banish doom and gloom at the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We're the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We'll play for you like we're sitting in your room. So sip the beverage of your choice. And listen to the voice of the pretty darn good opera on Zoom. Yeehaw! Way to go, Ace. That was that was Ace Pounder, folks. He's a he wrote that song, and that's our that's our theme song now. Pretty darn good opera on Zoom. And, uh, Anyway, my name's Harry Hewlett. I'm the uh, host by default tonight, and we got uh, we got uh, me, and then we got Jenny. If she's feeling up to it, she's kind of under the weather a little bit, but she's hanging in there. Then, uh, then we'll have uh, Keith Dodson, followed by Ace Pounder, followed by Alan Larson, followed by Barb McMillan, and then we've got Chris Albert. From all the way from Springfield, Missouri. He's way up there. And I'm going to start off the little song here. Plum to the other side of the Red River. Except we're getting all your smoke from Texas. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Well, we're, 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 we are an international organization now. Yeah. The globe, we're global is what it is. It, it's Dallas Songwriters Association Global. That's, that's, that's what we are now. So here we go. One little drink, it'll warm you up. One more is one too much. It looks like water, it has no taste. Cross your eyes, fall on your face. There's never been no stronger stuff. Spoon. Strike a match, it goes boom. When you wake up down on the floor, it'll melt your name off your front door. There's never been no stronger stuff. One hundred nine. Jesus on my brain There's no 
ever been no stronger stood 109 is proof enough you better read that label the warning's clear when you get drunk don't get drunk on never clear your life will suck if you get drunk on never clear Chug a lug, chug a lug. Thank you very much. This is the Dallas Songbirds Association. And, uh, that was my first song, and now we've got Jenny. Do you feel like doing something, or you need to set one out? I'm okay. Okay. Well, here come here comes Jenny. She's down there in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. There she is. How you doing, Jenny? I'm okay right now, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, what you got for us today? I'm gonna follow them here to leave. I'll take one beer, nice and tall. Matter of fact, bro, make that two. I think I'm moving too fast. Another extra large draft will do. There's something about you while I spend time here. It's not what most could do. I'm starting to see that the story is stretching at the seam by the broken shards of you. There's some things time can heal and other things that won't unbreak. The way I pick my friends are by the study who can take a shake. But when I see how affected you can be and cover it up real well. All I can do is undo my glue and let you know it ends well. Because I'm starting to see that the scar in me is stretching at the seam by the broken shards of you. I'm not the kind that lives in bars, but on occasion when I do, I want to take all the vibes, the good vibes, and I want to find and feel you. The thing that I need is a soul that's steady. Folks on the edge will never do. I just need a friend who can keep things light while I detach from all that is you. Because I'm starting to see that the scar in me is stretching at the seams by the broken shards of you. The broken shards of you. All right. That was Jenny. Jenny Thank Carey you. From, from San Antonio. I don't, I'm not sure she's actually from there, but that's where she lives right now. <laughs> and uh, I'm your... Host, uh, host, host, I'm going to get off here just as quick as I can. Keith Dodson's coming up next. Keith, are you ready? I'm ready to go here, Harry. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Here you go. There and he is. There All I right. am, in person and in color. A lot of maroon there, it looks like. Anyway, so uh, this is, uh, this Friday night is the quarterly Louisville Songwriters Challenge, and this is my entry for it. Uh, the theme is Horizon, so... Due to lack of imagination, I call this song Horizon. She stood there on the beach, her eyes were focused out to sea. Had something on her mind, I wasn't sure if it was me. I asked her what was wrong, dear, she said don't know how to go. Horizon is so hazy and there's much that we don't know. She said, babe, we gotta look toward our future. We gotta search beyond the distance we can see. I said the presence where we're at, we can't be ignoring that. Instead of the horizon, wish she had her eyes on me. Well, how can just stand there and not feel the same way how will we get along then with our meager pay can we handle anger when we should disagree will we want to have 
children and how many should there be? She said, babe, we gotta look toward our future. Gotta search beyond the distance we can see. I said, the present's where we're at. We can't be ignoring that. Instead of the horizon, wish she had her eyes on me. I said, just like a shipwreck when abandoning your craft Don't let yourself sink down while you're looking for a raft It's true we need to have our goals to guide us on the way But we gotta make it through to now to get to end that day She said, babe, we gotta look toward our future Gotta search beyond the distance we can see I said the presence where we're at We can't be ignoring that Instead of the horizon Wish she had her eyes on me Wish she had her eyes on me Wish she had her eyes on me Oh well. Good Thank song you. there, Keith. It's that's kind of a new one, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, about a month old. Yeah. Month, Good song. Two. That's that, that's a keeper right there. Okay, that's Keith Dodson, folks. And now we've got Ace Pounder. He's actually got another name, but he's such a good performer and everything. He's got a performer's name. Ace that's right. Pounder. That's right. <laughs> what yeah. you got? Well, let's see. I've been, I'm, I'm going to do a couple fairly recent ones. And uh, this is, uh, I, I probably did this a couple weeks ago. This is called Still Watching Golf with James. This is about uh, an old friend who we used to sit around and watch golf together, like a couple old men we were. But he passed away a couple years ago. And for a while, I just couldn't watch golf. But after... I guess last year or this year, I started thinking about it differently. It started making it feel like I was close to him again. It didn't seem quite real. Without your commentary, explaining why the TV guy was wrong again. And while the pain remains, I can feel you right beside me. I'm back to spending weekends watching golf with my old friend. Still watching golf with James. Friendship is forever in fair or stormy weather. Love keeps going on. My friend is gone, the conversation goes on and on. Even though my friend is gone, the love goes on and on. Did you see that iron shot? It's pretty deep in the rough there. I'll be damned if he didn't land it anyway. In stern self-conscious parody, insert your favorite golf cliche. So my friend, please tell me, who's your pick today? Still watching golf with James. Friendship is forever in fair or stormy weather. Love keeps going on Even though my friend is gone The conversation goes on and on Even though my friend is gone The love goes on and on Even though my friend is gone The conversation goes on and on Even though my friend is gone The love goes on and on Hey, Ace, I've got a suggestion, man. You know, Waylon Jennings recorded an entire album of songs written by Billy Joe Shaver? 
You should record an entire album of songs written by Seth Ginsburg. <laughs> You know, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to, uh, I'd have to uh, have my people talk to his people, of course. But uh, what you suggest is is quite possible, my friend. Hey, I think, I think you, I think you'd have a hit with it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, thank you. you. Okay, good, good song there, Ace. Good song. Tell old, tell old uh, Seth that he's doing a good job writing them songs. Okay, now then that was that was Ace Pounder, and now we've got a real talent coming up. We got Alan Larson coming up. Let's see what he's going to do. Alan, what you got for us today? I, well, right now I've got another one of my animal songs. An animal song. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of prompted by my. Uh, I have a cousin named Virginia, Virginia who lives in Corsicana, and she posted a couple of photos today of some large owls on her property. She thinks they were maybe. Uh, scouting out dinner or something she has little dogs or something one little interesting story quickly about her is she's a writer for a like a monthly Corsicana magazine and she featured our friend what's her name Raquel Lindemann oh yeah remember, yeah she, cause remember she moved down there and she yeah. plays down there so, so I was like wow you know Raquel anyway let's talk owls Well, I'm getting hungry and I got my knees. Time to find something on which to feed. You won't see me coming. I blend into the trees. Well, I work my best when that time falls. When I make my moves, you won't hear me at all. I'm like a stealth fighter with a screechy call. Yeah, cause I'm a mean, mean old owl Watch out when you see me scowl Cause tonight I'm going on the prowl some very sharp talents wish my prey will meet with my challenge no you can't escape me night or day I can see and hear you from miles away if you know I'm coming you better start to pray you see I'm a mean mean old owl So watch out if you see me scowl, cause tonight I'm going on the prowl. I'm the farmer's friend Cause I go out and catch some barnyard vermin Others put statues of me out To ward off pests Now some think I'm wise Some call me an omen Some call me a bully A flying shaman Or very simply You can call me Owl Yeah If you see me scowl Cause tonight I'm going on the prowl Yeah, I'm a mean old owl And you can call me owl Hey, that's my name too
Hey, Alan, did, I don't know if you saw it or not. They also, on Facebook, someone, you know, those little real videos that they do? Yeah. So, someone had a pet owl, a big owl, and it was like 50 yards or so away over there on a fence, and, and he called it to come land on his arm. And the guy with the video, whoever was doing the video, had it pointed right at that owl as it was flying toward this this guy. And it, it just like a close-up of his face and his eyes. And it, it was scary as heck. And then he, he landed on the guy's arm, but I mean, it, I was ducking <laughs> just watching the video. Anyway. Look at this. I found this on Monday in my backyard. Uh oh. Is that an owl feather? I don't know. I'll, oh, I'll no. Wait. Is that an owl feather, y'all think? Maybe it was just a jive turkey. It's a hawk. A hawk, okay. Well, he's been in my backyard. I've seen him before, that hawk, because whenever I'm out there with Anna Bean. He'll come fly around. He Someone's mine, that, minus a dog. Or, really bad. There's, there's probably one, one less squirrel in your backyard now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to tell one quick story. You were talking about that owl flying directly at the camera? Yeah. I saw a video. Somebody had a like a security camera in their kitchen. And you know how you can talk through security cameras? You know, to, to war, you know, who are you at my door? Or, you know, or... Why are you breaking into my house? Anyway, so the guy who owned the camera saw his cat getting into a cabinet, you know, using his claws, opening his cabinets, poking around. And he spoke through the camera, what are you doing? Get out of there. And then the cat like, what is that? And then, then the camera goes, cat goes off camera and a couple of seconds later, you see his face briefly and it knocks the camera down. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't funny. No, no, that was funny. Was funny. I wish I'd <laughs> saved that. I don't know. Maybe it'll turn up again on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Well, listen. Let's 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 welcome Barb McMillan, our founder and president emeritus. Hello there. How you doing, Barb? Mary. Mary. Did somebody say something? Hey, Chris. Who did she marry? You said emeritus. Oh, was well, she emeritus? She, 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 she married all. She married us all. He married us. <laughs> she emeritus. married us all. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, okay. Hey, Chris said uh, funny. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do my my story song about an outlaw couple from the North Texas area. Here we go. You heard the story of Jesse James Of how he lived and he died But if you're still in need of some outlaw deeds Here's the story of Bonnie and Clyde Now Bonnie and Clyde and the Barrow Gang Were said to be worth their weight in lead Oh, they'd rob and steal, but those who'd squeal Were shoes we found dying or dead Well, you can't believe the fake news, no The gang wasn't so ruthless as that, yeah Their nature was raw, but they hated the law Stool pigeons, starters, and rats Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Doodle, doodle, what'll they do? On a walk ride, needing a place to hide. That's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. They were called cold, cold blooded killers. It was said they were heartless and mean. But Bonnie said with pride that she once knew Clyde when he was honest, upright, and clean. But the ball fooled around, kept taking him down and locking him up in a cell. Till he said to Bonnie, I'll never be free. So meet a few of them in hell. A newsboy said to his associate, Now I wish old Clyde would get jumped. Cause in these awful hard times, we'd make a few dimes. And five or six cops would get bumped. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Doodle, doodle, what'll they do? On a wild ride, needing a place to hide. That's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. 
Some people have suffered from heartbreak, from weariness. Some people have died. But take it all in all, our troubles are small compared to Bonnie and Clyde. If a copper was bumped in Big D and they had no clue or guide, when they couldn't find a fiend, they just wiped their slate clean and blame it on Bonnie and Clyde. Well, there are two crimes in the U.S. of A, not credited to the Barrow mob. Now they had no hand in the kidnapped demand, nor the Kansas City Depot job. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, doodle-doodle, what'll they do? On a wild ride, needing a place to hide, that's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. When the Times went to press with a crime report, Clyde called Bonnie one day. He said, now don't start any fights. We ain't working nights. We're joining the NRA. From over in Irving to the West Dallas Viaduct was known as the Great Divide. Where the women were kin and the men were men and they didn't stool on Bonnie and Clyde. If they tried to act like honest citizens and rent them a cozy little flat. About the third night, they were invited to fight by sub guns rat a tat tat. They didn't think they were too tough or desperate. No, they knew that the law always wins. They'd been shot at before, but they could not ignore that death is the wages of sin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Needing a place to hide That's the story of Bonnie and Clyde Well the road was winding And so dimly lit There were no highway signs to guide But they made up their minds Even if all the roads were blind They wouldn't give up till they died The road got dimmer and dimmer So dark you could hardly see but they fight man to man and do all they can so you'd know they can never be free and in the end they went down together but they weren't buried side by side to few there was grief and to the law a relief a story of bonnie and clyde that's the story of bonnie and clyde that's the story of bonnie and clyde I love that song. Whew. Get started on that, man. You, it, it, it's a race to the end. <laughs> it's a long one. Yeah. Tell you what, Barb, we got Chris Albert coming up next. Y'all go back a long ways, don't you? Did you meet Chris a long time ago? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, I would say 76. Oh, how do you know that? Because I moved to Dallas in 76. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Well, that's that was when it was. Seriously? Hang on a minute. That's a long time ago. Yeah, a lot of us weren't even born then, Chris. <laughs> he had to go off. I don't know if we want need to. I don't know if somebody was at the door or what. He didn't say. I don't know. Uh, there, he comes. there he is. <sighs> I think I met you before '76, just a little bit. Well, I I think I that Chris Roberts and I. Uh, went up to um, Springfield one time, and 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 I met you and Willie at the same time. Oh, really? Maybe. At the house Maybe. or something like that? Yeah, at at the at a at an old house. I think yeah, Chris Roberts one. used to live there at the old house. Well, that wasn't no. He With never Willie. Lived. Willie and I lived together. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, maybe it what maybe it wasn't the house that he lived, but but whatever. I think I may have met you then. Yeah. A long time ago. What what you got for us, Chris? Well, I'll just do this news. Uh, this song I, I wrote a couple months ago, "High Class Blues." Uh, kind of started off. High class lady, only for 
a mess as time passes on. I like that song a lot, Chris. Yeah, I took, that one took a little while to, to work up. <laughs> it's got a real catch, catchy tune to it. Yeah. yeah. Kind of hooky like. That's Chris Albert, folks. He's from... Are you kin to Prince Albert? Uh, well, I've always <laughs> tried to figure that one out. Which Prince Albert? Prince <laughs> Albert, but that's a first name, and I have the last... I'm last name. <laughs> no. All right. See, I'm not really sure how they did those things in Europe. You know, if they call I'm, I'm, I'm talking Albert. about yeah, the one, the one that's on on the tobacco can, Prince Albert. Remember that? Oh, I was no. say, is he in the can? Yeah, that's be. that's Chris. That's yeah. Chris. That's, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My daddy used to smoke that stuff. Anyway, mine Chris did, Albert. Mine did too. Mine did too. Did you ever take the can and play with it? You, you could you could punch holes in the bottom of it with a nail, you know, and then you put different colored pieces of glass you find on the ground and put it in there, and then you have a little co kaleidoscope. Oh, no, no did you never, never did was, that. That was a, we that just was used a, it to carry bait or, uh, you know, because you could put it in your pocket and carry bait to the to creek and stuff yeah. like that. Prince Albert. What was that old joke about Prince Albert in the can? Does that you bring a bell? Call, you call the drugstore and ask him if they had Prince Albert in a can. When they said yes, you say, well, you better let him out. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly Is your refrigerator wrong. running? Yeah. Yeah, it's along those lines. <laughs> Prince Albert. Those cans are worth something nowadays. Really? God, yeah, I, yeah. If you if you find a Prince Albert can, you know, it's in fairly good condition. Yeah, you can sell it. I don't have much money, but people collect those. Oh, my dad smoked Sir Walter Raleigh, so I guess that oh, boo, well. boo. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather had uh, cheap tobacco. He he bought he bought it in a bag or something like that. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway. Okay. Let me get my cell phone here. I forgot. I forgot what we're doing. We're this is open mic, isn't it? <laughs> here we go. Okay. I'm the host. It's back around to me. So you got to let let me do one song, and then we'll get the good players up. Been working on this for a long time. I, I used to know how to play it a long time ago, and now I'm trying to bring it back. It's called I'm a Believer Now. It goes like this. I saw you talking on the cellular phone. I heard you tell someone you's leaving home. I saw you pack your bags and walk out the door. I heard you push that Porsche to the floor. Did not believe I'm a believer now. Daddy said, son, don't believe anything you hear. Only believe half of what you see. Well, honey, you've been gone almost half a year. Looks like it's time for starting to believe I'm a believer now. Did, I did not believe it we would ever part Did not believe it you could break my heart Did not believe it we would say goodbye Did not believe it you could make me cry Did not believe I'm a believer now Dad said, son, don't leave anything you hear Only believe half of what you see Oh, honey, you've been gone almost half a year. Looks like it's time for starting to believe. I'm a believer now. I'm a believer 
I saw you talking on your sailor phone I heard you tell someone you's leaving home I saw you pack your bags and walk up the door I heard you push that Porsche to the floor Did not believe it, we would ever part Did not believe it, you could break my heart Did not believe it, we would say goodbye Did not believe it, you could make me cry Did not believe, I may believe her now That's my contribution. Okay. Yeah, we got Jenny. Jenny, are you are you feeling still feeling have you, good? Have we heard that song before, Harry? Uh, yeah, uh, but not much. Not much. Okay. How long? <laughs> it, probably, it probably sounded a lot different. I I, I got to get my rhythm back on that song. But anyway, it's a. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard it or not. I like it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I call it. I'm a believer now. Okay, here comes, here comes, here comes, if I, okay, replay Spotlight. There she is, Jenny Caroline. How you doing, Jenny? I'm good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Jenny, I think you got the prettiest backgrounds of everybody. Thank you. Well, Alan inspired me because he's always switching them, so he inspired me to start looking yeah. for well, you're like an artist or something, though. I mean, you got a you got good that taste for that kind of stuff. That looks like a campfire on the beach. Yes. Yeah. They're not. They're just things I find on Google. <laughs> it's just. It's pretty. I would cool. love to do that. <laughs> what you got? Okay. I wrote this today. One cup, two cups, one long pour. What was on my mind ain't there no more. In the glow of beer signs, where's the rowdy ones at? Took off my shades, still wearing my hat. Out for the night, I'm here for fun. Thanks for the drinks, you're a fine one, hun. One cup, two cups, and one long pour. What was on my mind ain't there no more. I like your style, you made the first move. This ain't, this ain't the place to dance, but I could dig your groove. I'm kicking up these boots and pulling up by your seat. How you keep things laid, I like how you think. One cup, two cups, and one long pour. What was on my mind ain't there no more. That drink was just right. Did you just make me laugh? There's a sparkle in your eyes and your smile says class. Two days from now, we're going on a date with no drinks around. With no drinks around, will we even relate? One cup, two cups, and one long pour. What was on my mind ain't there no more. One cup, two cups, and one long pour. What was on my mind ain't there no more. Now he's on my mind, and I'm waiting for more. <laughs> Wait a minute. Right. It was bad, so we're not clapping. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Okay. Thank thank you, Jenny. Always enjoy thank your you. enjoy your songs. Uh, thank you. that was Jenny Caroline from San Antonio, and now we've got Keith Dodson. Mr. Rattlesnake Hunter songwriter. <laughs> right, here we go. Keith Dodson's coming up. Ooh. Go right straight there. To there hey, there I am. All right. Did you ever uh, did you ever see a rattlesnake? Yeah, I, I saw one from a distance. I kept my distance. Uh, we used to go fishing at we my, my grandfather had two friends we'd go fishing at. Uh, one guy ran cattle and one guy didn't. The one guy that didn't run cattle, he had catfish in his stock tank, but because he didn't run cattle, it was always uh what he called growed up around it. So it was kind of hit or miss as to whether you might encounter a rattlesnake there. So we tended to fish at the other place. But if there was a drought or if he'd got back with the brush hog, we could go fish at his stock tank. And 
we caught a mess of catfish we had for Easter supper one year and I, that was some that was some of the best catfish I ever had even if it did taste muddy <laughs> yeah well I, I figured you had to had to run in with the rattlesnake somewhere because you wrote the song rattlesnake Rita and that was in our number one song in our song contest last year well I've been to Sweetwater but I've never been there for the roundup I suppose I ought to go sometime I'm just I, you know, I'm not going to be the guy that gets in the pen with the snakes and the handler. I'm, I'm going to let some other volunteer do that. So. It's just watch it on video. That's close enough. I can watch it on video, yeah. and I don't know. Me, I'm just going to grab a corn dog. I'm not going to try the, the rattlesnake. They say it tastes like chicken. Well, I might as well have some chicken nuggets then. So. <laughs> what anyway, you got for do they have our corn dog, white corn dogs in San Antonio? What's that? Corn dogs in San Antonio. Do you have corn dogs there? Oh have... no, we don't. Oh, you, don't you were talking you... about. Oh, I was talking about I was uh, thinking... sw sweet water. Sorry, I was or thinking the... of the context of your song. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it, I don't think they got them in Dime Box. I don't know if Dime Box even has any restaurants, but I suppose I should go there someday since I included them in my song. So. They have a place called Chicago Dogs in San Antonio. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we've got Portillo's up here in the colony, which is supposedly the, the Chicago hot dog thing. But I had a chili dog in Chicago once, and, well, it was supposed to be a chili dog, but there were beans in that sauce they put on it. <laughs> so, I, I guess you know I, you That's got, a felony in Texas, you know. You got to play Rattlesnake Rita now. <laughs> well, I actually. We talked about it. Well, you know, you, didn't, you weren't going to play that I, one, were you? I, I played that one like last week or the, I played it several weeks here. Uh, but okay. actually, since we're talking about Texas. We need to hear it, though, because it was the winner this year. Okay. So you're, you're just going to have to look like, you know how it is when you have a hit song and an artist has to play it yeah. over and over again every night that he performs. It, I well, forget you have what, a hit song and you that, have to play it every time you perform now. It yeah, belongs that, to I, us I now. Was, I think it was, I, I saw Arlo or somebody saying, you know, when you write a hit song, you got to make sure it's something you're going to want to play every day <laughs> for the rest of your life. Yeah, at which point he went. <laughs> that was his restaurant. <laughs> I used to be able to do that song in its entirety for 20 minutes. I'm not proud or tired. <laughs> oh, another story Arlo told is that... Uh, he, he was playing, I think, for President Obama or, or Clinton. Or, so he was at the White House, and one of the aides came over and says, Hey, man, you got to know this. He says, Down in the White House uh, library, there's a copy of Alice's Restaurant that was purchased during the Nixon administration. He said, That's far out. And he says, You know, wait a minute. You know, Alice's Restaurant is about 18 minutes long. There was the 18 minutes on the Watergate tapes that had been erased. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, okay, we'll, we'll we'll do Rita here, uh, and I'll. And I, I had another one queued up here, which we were talking about Texas food, but I'll, I'll bring that the next go around. So, here it is, folks. The the the, the song that gave me my 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 leap into stardom here. <laughs> Rattlesnake Rita was a cattleman's daughter. She danced with the rattlers down near sweet water, strutting the stages of the great moon star state. But dancing with a diamondback is dancing with fate. Now dance, Rita, dance. You know it seems such a strange circumstance. You look so demure with your reptile du jour, but you're taking a terrible chance Yes, you're taking a terrible chance Dime box Danny fell in love with sweet Rita Saw her on the stage He just had to meet her He stood at the stage door that very same night When Rita saw Danny it was love at first sight Now sway Rita sway 
yes, it looks like true love's come your way. But a serpent gets jealous, you're out with other fellows, he could come back and bite you someday. Yes, he'll come back and bite you someday. Smile down on the low, now arising like a new butterfly. Oh, they strolled down the lane, that viper was quicker, wrapped round Rita's leg just to try and to trip her. Rita, she stumbled, she fell on her fanny, and as she went down, that old snake bit poor Danny. Now cry, Rita, cry, oh dear Lord, don't let poor Danny die. The toxic old venom, though it's already in him, he was bound for the sweet by and by. Yes, he's gone to the sweet by and by. That is the end of my tragic little story. Rita's in mourning, and he's gone to glory. And of that Ophidian, the people did dread. Well, they grabbed that slimy varmint, and they cut off his head. Now learn, Rita, learn. All oh, these toxic relationships burn. It's all black and white with companions that can bite some you just have to burn Oh, rattlesnake Rita Some bridges you just have to burn Love that song. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And congratulations again. Well, thank you so much. That was quite a shock. That was Keith Dodson, folks, with his award-winning song and now we've got ace pounder this is the guy that sang that song to start off with he, he's got our, our uh, theme song hang on here just a second replay spotlight there he is right there that is that is my claim to fame it make, it's gonna make you famous someday <laughs> if it hasn't already just think uh, on of another all those, planet those royalties for the residuals when you when it goes into reruns uh, absolutely oh yeah yeah well i'm waiting for my uh tribute band to come out you know some guy who kind of looks vaguely like me <laughs> 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 anyway all right this is this was originally written one afternoon i was just uh lying around the house and i wasn't feeling particularly energetic or motivated to do anything and I just decided to write a song and it was just a rainy day and I played it and Harry said you know that's a nice song but the only problem is you have like five rainy days in Texas whereas they're literally quadrillions of incredibly hot days in Texas so why don't you just change it just a little bit so you listen to this and you can tell me if uh, Harry is correct. Some days are perfect for nothing and nothing can be perfectly right when the work of the week is forgotten and it's still not time yet for night since we woke this morning it was clear that the heat had the day we briefly took out the dogs and then retreated Inside is where he decided to stay And I don't feel guilty a bit 
If the weather tells me to sit Just a lazy day in Texas And there's nothing that I really must do Just another hot day in Texas and I'm so glad to be cozy with you. Now both of the dogs lay sleeping And I will not be trailing by far Light settles soft and quiet muted As I put away my old guitar I have a sudden bright notion And I can tell that you have it too Perhaps just a nap before dinner it's not like we have something to do And I don't, and we don't feel guilty a bit If the weather tells us to quit Just another hot day in Texas And there's nothing that we really must do just another hot day in Texas And I'm so glad to be cozy with you Hey Ace, who's going to play you in the biopic? <laughs> Uh, so, but, you know, Elvis's nephew I'm hoping for <laughs> Is that a new mic? No, no, no. Uh, it's I, 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 I have it too loud. I think so. That's no, probably... it's fine. It's perfect, actually. Oh, 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 excellent. I was okay. going to say it sounded good uh, with the new mic there. I hadn't seen it, or I hadn't noticed it anyway. <laughs> well, I, I keep messing around with different mic stands and this and that and the other thing. Yeah, because I, I, I <laughs> the problem is, is that it, it's it, the process is entertaining, but at the end I have no conclusion because I can't really tell the difference. So, well, and, and when you're singing, you don't know what it sounds like. Exactly, I have no so, concept of what it. So I, I have to go back and look at the YouTube video, which makes yeah. me cringe because I hate hearing myself. Oh, I know, same here. But it, you know, it's been helpful listening to some of the electric guitar stuff because I've been messing around with different. Uh, pedals and i can hear it back and i because i can't really hear it when i play but I, it, it's really helpful yeah. it's really helpful good song thank you harry thank you sir way to go ace I, I love that song love it just keep on working on that you can you, you can you can turn that into a hit song no, I, I think there's some more word, another word that you can use i don't know what it would be yeah there's something there, there yeah there, there's I'm, there's I'm a word messing. that you can use that's gonna everyone's just gonna say ah yeah that's it that's it you know it's gonna mm -hmm. Like, uh, there's a few dirty words, but you know you can't. <laughs> you can't. You can't really put those in there. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it takes away from the whole mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, some of these country artists could get away with that. But anyway. yeah, but I'm not one. I'm but not. you're not one of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's Ace Pounder, folks. Now we got Alan Larson coming out. We're just gonna go right straight to Alan. He's just gonna knock your socks off. Here we go. There he is. All right. Well, I think I'm going to continue in the animal theme. So, you can probably guess who this is about. This little feller. Maggie the cat. I should write a song about a squirrel. A squirrel keeps coming into my patio. And Maggie goes out there and kind of stares at it, but never really challenges it. But the squirrel is afraid to come any closer to the get on the patio floor. Anyway, this is my Maggie, my dear song. Oh, Maggie, Maggie, my dear, how I long to, to hold you near. So get your 
yourself right over here. Now what do you say? Really would make my day. But Maggie, lately I found you just don't want to come around. I reach for you. But you just scoot away Is there something that I could say? And where are you sleeping tonight? Tell me, how can I make things right? So Maggie, what's on your mind? You know, I try my best to be so kind. Are you going just through a phase, my dear? But for me, these are very long days. dinner of chicken pate <laughs> but you turn your nose up and walk away now Maggie you don't have to be so rude just puts me in a sad mood and where are you hiding tonight Tell me, how can we make things right? So Maggie, Maggie my dear, how I long to hold you near. Please get yourself right over here. What do you say? It really would make my Like that. Good song. Yeah. Alan Larson singing about his cat. Alan, I think you're in love with that cat. Oh, yeah, he's in love. Yeah. <laughs> he's my buddy. Paul is the same way about his buddy. His cat's called Buddy. Yes, uh, Paul, Paul Zander. Yeah, right. And man, yeah, he's really attached to, to Buddy there. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good. attached to my little Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> There's something about those little animals. They're so pretty. What so you got, nice, Barb? Sweet. I want to do my other story song. Harry, is that okay? Yeah. Is it? Is it got 14 verses? <laughs> 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 it has seven. Seven. <laughs> I oh, it, okay. I that's a down. short. That's a short song. Okay. <laughs> In the land of the blazing sun, a legend arose about a woman outlaw with a spirit strong and bold, full of mystery are her fierce and daring eyes. Bell Star is her name, she rides on through the sky as a ghost of A halo of light Neath the pale moon's gleam Oh, the ghost of Belle Star She's riding again A haunting trace On a whisper of wind She grew up in the Ozarks In a time of 
Civil War. Her brother rode with Quantrell, found a bullet in 64. Forced to flee the violence from their farm and field of green. She drove her pa's wagon through Texas to Syene. Her father built a hotel near the military road. A hideout of the James Gang and the younger soon followed. She loved him with the outlaws, Jim Reed, Sam Starr, and Younger. They'll outlive them all till the age of 41. And now the ghost of Bell Star, the outlaw queen. A halo of light neath the pale moon's gleam. Her father built a hotel near the military road. A hideout of the James Gangs and the younger soon followed. She loved and with the outlaws, Jim Reed, Sam Starr, and Younger. Bell outlived them all to the age of 41. Five grand in hand to Jim's best friend, a pair of Sam Bush, I heard tell. Sam was killed on the Canadian. Bell was still in jail. Bruce Younger went to Colorado and died with nothing left. A hard time to live in the wild and rugged west. From the hills of Oklahoma to Red River's rolling bends. Bell realms Indian territory seeking her revenge. Of the rustler and the bushwhacker who shot her through and through. She holds a secret who that no one ever knew about the ghost of Bell Star, the Allah Queen, a halo of light neath the pale moon's gleam. Oh, the ghost of Bell Star, she's riding again, a haunting trail. Of wind. On a phantom steed through the shadows she glides, dressed in velvet black attire with a 45 at each side. Younger Reed and Star some nights join her on a ride. From the Creek Nation to where they're haunting our Texas skies, in the echoes of the past where the prairie winds a wail. Bell's apparition is a legendary tale Haunting outlaw trails where once she rode so free A spirit of the frontier for eternity Rides the ghost of Bell Star The outlaw queen A halo of light neath the pale moon's gleam Still changing that song. Still working on it. It's a great song. Thanks. Here, Bobby. Okay. That this was is a book. It's minute. called Bushwhacker Bells, and it's about <laughs> oh. sisters, wives, girlfriends of the Missouri Gorillas. Uh, oh, yeah. She because she was actually from Missouri when yeah. she, and then she moved to Texas. Yeah. Yep. And it's uh, she's in this book and. There's a local guy from Joplin who wrote he wrote this all about it's a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You're next, Chris. Oh. 
Well, this is a song I've done, but uh, I was just announced. Broad Jam told me I made the top 10 country blues chart for whatever their thing is. Um, the only problem is ah. they, they put, I, I auditioned for that wallflower, uh, the wallflower. <laughs> wallflower, I like that wall. <laughs> Wallflower. <laughs> Wallflower. <laughs> And that's the song they use, which they said you can't do any overproduced, can't you? Got to just do guitar. It's simple. But they use that. I sent them an email. They won't. They haven't answered me. I said, well, if I put, if I up, they said, well, upload the song. But if I do, does that disqualify me? Yeah, you. I don't think you better just wait till after the contest, Chris, and then do it. Yeah, because they they yeah. haven't answered me or said yeah. Yeah. You know. Wait, wait till after the contest. Um, they're not through judging it, so uh, you don't want to, you don't want to have a mistake happen to where somebody oh, yeah. listens to the wrong one right. and then disqualifies you because, you know, right. So okay. I'd I'd wait and then after the wildflower thing, the judging's done and everything, then you then you could upload it. I think they got one more week or something like that. No, know. that's not true. Oh really? It's, yeah, it's oh, it, it'll judging? be a few. On the judging, it'll be a couple, a few weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. You won't, actually, they won't let you know, though, until May. Well, the copy they got is terrible compared to all the other guys. <laughs> it's like, okay. But... Lying, cheating, Stealing, weeping, baby, don't you know what you did to me? Crying, sighing, making life trying, baby, don't you know what you did to me? You said, my, 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 don't tell lies about me. Don't you know what you did to me? Make it, waste it, make your life, take it. Baby, don't you know what you did to me? Say to my, 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 don't tell lies about me. Don't judge me by your action. Your songs are good. Well, there's a, some clunkers. I had just haven't pulled them out. <laughs> yeah, well, you got, you got a bunch of goodies. That's Chris Albert, folks. Great, great grandson of Prince Albert. You know, the guy on the 
tobacco can. <laughs> well, I know the family did come from Bavaria. That's uh, we've tracked it back that far to 500 BC or some crap or somewhere like that. I don't know. But my yeah. dad's side of the family goes to Bavaria. My mother's side goes to Italy. So was, what, 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 where was Prince Albert from? What, well, you know? actually, a Prince Albert was English. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Uh -oh. And I've got just a little bit of English in, in me. Uh, one of the sisters ran off with an Englishman or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, those there, there are a lot of Prince Alberts. <laughs> it's yeah. a common name in royalty. Yeah, th this one this one had that perfect beard and everything. Okay, that's, you're oh, talking yeah. about Victoria's husband. Yeah, there Prince you go. Prince Albert. Oh, probably. He yeah. was a Coburg. It was his last name, Coburg. He's a good-looking guy, yeah. Albert Colbert. Sounds you know, it was originally Ginsburg. No, they were changed it. originally Ginsburg. <laughs> they were, they It was. They were uh, on the Principality and German. Germany was still cut up into little oh. states, and he, they were came came from one of those little German states. Well, they they they, they made good t tobacco. It was good pipe tobacco, good cigarette tobacco. Oh, my dad. He he was. Uh, that's all he did was smoke a pipe. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, this song is not about has any, that have nothing to do with tobacco. It's a it's one of them old bar songs. It's called uh, what do we call this? Uh, fast women, slow gin, beat up jukebox, watering hole. Do you ever call? Did you ever call? But did you ever hear them called watering holes, Chris? These old bars and these little old towns they call them watering holes. Oh yeah, that was a biggie. Uh, you see a lot of these small little towns. That's how. Yeah. Chris had a watering hole. He had a watering hole. Yeah. You did. Mando's Hideaway. In, in, yeah. uh, what was the name of that town? Something Springs? It's Reed Springs. Reed it was, Springs. It goes back to Texas. That's where all they drove those herds from North Texas up there because there was a spring. And the spring has never gone dry. And that's where they would stop. It would be a watering hole. And then it became famous for oak trees. And then it became a big tomato place where they had factories and shipped out tomatoes and stuff like that. Well, this song, this, this is just a bar. It didn't become anything but a bar. It, it's still a bar, I think. Well, there were <laughs> so, some dangerous watering holes there. Anyway, it goes like this. Holiday Inn Lounge, Clovis, New Mexico, circa... 1975 Fast women Slow gin Beat up jukebox Good friends Traveling salesman Telling dirty jokes Poor boy heaven It's a watering hole Lady bartender Full of wit, cussing like a sailor. She says, Kiss my grits. <laughs> when she leans over, can't help but look. Spend your money, but you can't touch. <laughs> Long haul trucker, rigs right outside, looking for a lady. Looking for a ride Fat ass rancher Telling fat ass lies To a black haired woman With clear blue eyes Feed your cowboy With the big old grin I want to feed your pony Just rides right in Nobody knows if they should run or sit. <laughs> then some joker hollers. <laughs> they make that horse <laughs> talk. Fast women, slow gin, beat up jukebox, good friends, traveling salesman, telling dirty jokes. Poor boy heaven. It's a watering hole.
nervous couple out on the floor slow dancing a fast song eyeing the door she knows exactly what's on his mind will he get lucky come closing time fast women slow gin beat up jukebox good friends traveling salesmen telling dirty jokes oh boy heaven it's a watering hole Clovis, New Mexico. That's the way it was, <laughs> way back. And then. that's got a that's got a Merle Haggard little twist to it. That Merle yeah. did a lot of those kind of songs. That was good. Wouldn't that would, wouldn't that have been fun? Man, that was that was right down that old alley there. It was one of them. Was that one of them places? Well, okay. That's a good song, Harry. That that's. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. That'd be a good one for some of these young whippersnappers out there. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know. I, they, I don't think they don't have bars anymore like that. They just have homes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they could relate to 1975 too many of them. <laughs> so anyway, okay, that was me, and now we've got we've got Jenny coming back up if I can find her here. She's just sitting there, just all ready to go replay spotlight. There she is. Okay, okay, Jenny, you're up. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Okay, that was my Italian part of me coming out. <laughs> okay, that's what Joey used to say, right? How how you doing? Jo who's Joe? Uh, and, fr and friends, remember friends? Jo oh, how you, how you I doing? Watch friends. You never yeah. watch friends? I I just know that I love TV, but I was I'm never a big TV watcher. So, but I did love the episodes I saw. How you doing? That was, that was <laughs> Joey. Okay. Sing us a song. Clear, bright day, Billy Goats roam the to tour on the farm not far from home. I had the vision, not much on detail, knew where to head way up above the rails. Yodelay, yodelay, yodelay. We're going to rock that stadium. You looked at me as a plan and dude first big show rocket up you two focused and free arms in the air gave it our all care without cares yodale 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 then we rocked that stadium Wind blowing smooth, band just right, fun in the sun, up, up in height. Wiping off the sweat, taking it in, massive ballpark, swaying for the wind. Yodale, yodale, yodale. We rock that stadium. Visions of players there before us, drive, diving on the crowd, fans yelling for more. Leaps of belief don't want to be dropped. Hands hold me up, adrenaline props. Yodale, yodale, yodale. And we rock that stadium. Back on the road, tower in the sky, we sing fine, you and me headlined. Even to this day, I can't forget two unknowns where our names are etched. Yodale, yodale, yodale. We rocked that stadium. We rocked that stadium. <laughs> now, Jenny, 
you were you were yes. feeling, you were feeling bad when he signed on earlier and you thought you weren't going to be able to do anything but we cheered you up didn't we you did thank yeah. you all right you're sounding great yeah you're feeling better thank aren't you? you yes you were right yeah thank you thank you thank you that was Jenny Caroline, and now we got Keith Dodson coming back up. Mr. Rattlesnake, right. Rita himself. Well, I thought I'd go ahead and play another song uh, that uh, brings forth Texas food here. This is uh, this is a song I wrote after seeing a vision in the sky, and I knew I just had to write about it. So. <laughs> I'll have a number to a cheese all the way what a size for here. And if there's money left over at an apple pie, my dear. That's the number one place for a Texas boy to find a little cheer. I'll have a number to a cheese all the way what a size for here. I headed west on a twenty coming home from Savannah one night. I crossed the Texas state line and up ahead I saw a beautiful sun. It was a big orange W shining like an angel in the night. It took the long U eggs that I was gonna get myself a bite. I'll have a number two of cheese all the way, what a size for you. Cause I've been driving all day and my appetite has made it clear. That this is the best place for a Texas boy to find a little cheer. I'll have a number two of cheese all the way, what a size we're here. Now Burger King and Wendy's and McDonald's, you just make your pal. As for in and out, well, you can leave it out. Mayonnaise? Well, Saturday night, I'm picking up my baby at her home. Now she's a hip, what a honey, she's in a league of her own. And a honey mustard chicken strip sandwich puts her in the zone. Throw in a strawberry shake and I'll never have to be alone. I'll have a number two of cheese all the way, what a side to go. And a honey mustard combo with a shake and don't be slow. Don't be slow, cause my baby and me were going out to see a picture show. And don't you know, that she's my Whataburger baby and I'm a Whataburger bow. Oh, I'll have a number two of cheese all the way, what a size to go. Go cat, go! I'll have a number two of cheese all the way, what a size to go. Just like you like it. Is that new? Well, no, I, that, that's been around a while. Uh, mm -hmm. Looks like I wrote it before the pandemic. Before the pandemic. Okay. I don't remember. It's a good song. What a bird. Thank you. Those are good hamburgers, too. They, oh, the best. They are the best. Yeah, they are. Okay, that's Keith Dodson, folks. And now we got Ace Pounder. Ace now, I'm, now I'm hungry. Now he's hungry. <laughs> made, made Ace hungry. Well, since we have the the uh, I was going to say senator, but uh, the, uh, the the ambassador from the Ozarks here, I thought I'd do one of my Ozark <laughs> songs. So this one was uh, it, it pretty much explains exactly what happened here. It's uh, just a story about me walking around. I was working uh, in the, I was planting trees, if I recall correctly, on this uh, this place that this this fancy lady from this from the city was building a uh, a dream house out there, and so I was one of the hired labor who uh, worked on it. But anyway. Well, the rest of it is what the story tells you. I was working as a farmhand in Missouri, Ozark County. 
When I came across a marker on the ground Alone beneath some bushes Near a little stream with rushes It appeared to be a headstone that I found I guessed that I was walking In what once had been a graveyard Oh, there was nothing much to say, so standing there It had all been washed away Except for a lonely marker Only a solitary headstone showed some care The words still stood out defiantly Affirming with no doubt he was the grave of Missouri Jane She's gone but not forgotten So let's drink a toast to Missouri Jane And cheer her time allotted More than a hundred years long And still she's not forgotten Sir Jane died, it said, just short of 1900. Before she lived a life to 25. But something about her caused her friends to celebrate her. So let us keep her memory alive. The words still stood out defiantly, affirming with no doubt. Here was the grave of Missouri Jane, she's gone but not forgotten. So let's drink a toast to Missouri Jane and cheer her time allotted. More than a hundred years long, and still she's not forgotten. Missouri Jane Burden. I love that song. Oh, thanks. I got I got a lot of relatives buried about six miles north of Pierce City. They had the little Mount Olivet Cemetery, they call it. My great grandmother, her uh, husband, my great grand great grandfather was a uh, was a, a Union soldier. He was a uh, what they call it a, a mounted volunteer. Yeah. And uh, during the war, while he was gone, the uh, Union soldiers. Chased uh, was chasing a uh, Confederate soldier in a wagon. They shot him out of a wagon right in front of, of her house, and he was so near death they just left him to her, and she buried him and wrapped him up in her best sheet and buried him down at the about a pond down there and wrote a nice letter to his parents and all that stuff. Well, There's a lot of history over there in Missouri. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That part of the world. It's a uh, oh Chris lives over there. Okay. Anyway, great song. I I love that. That's why I bought this book. It, it it goes into, you know, they considered Missouri actually didn't didn't even want to fight for the South or the North. They were just protecting their land. All the time. Yeah, I mean, they were just there, and you know, the uh, the Union soldiers would dress up like Confederate guerrillas and yeah. go knock on the door, and and if you they didn't answer them. the questions, right, they'd kill you. Yeah. And the Confederate soldiers would dress up like Union soldiers, and they'd go knock on your door, and if you didn't answer the questions, right, they'd kill you. So yeah. about eighty percent of the people just left. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just, that's what that says in this book, and they all the soldiers went away and hide, and the women were the ones who took care of everything and did all the chores. Yeah, that, that's why Belle Star left her and she and her father. That's why the, how they ended up in Dallas. Yeah, it was a, it was a wild and woolly place to be. <laughs> the you know the the it, it had no significance or on who won the war. Because it's just it's just kind of a no man's land, and that's why was, they didn't didn't have enough soldiers to take care of everything over there. Yeah, and it was just wow. Well, that Josie Wells movie is pretty says right there shows exactly what was going on there and all that. You know. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. scary. Okay, okay. Let's see. That was uh, what we got. We got Alan Larson coming up now. The, the Cat Man. Where's Alan here? Alan, I can't see. There he is. I bet he gets 
tired of us telling stories when he's 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 getting ready to get up here and play and we start telling stories. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see. Add spotlight. I got to get got to get it. How did I do that? Now I did did something wrong. You got to replace spotlight, but it doesn't say replace stoplight. I'll just I'll, re, I'll remove everybody else. That's what I'll do. Here we go. I'm gonna remove and now I'm gonna remove Ace. Ace, you're fixing to get removed. There you go. Now I'm gonna remove my fail. Okay. Okay, remove Alan, you stop. got it. You got the screen now. Did you remove stoplight? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a song about a kangaroo. <laughs> no, not really. This is an off-the-wall song I wrote about 30 years ago, I guess. You've heard it, The Chance You Gotta Take. Upstairs, someone is pacing round the floor. Outside, a stranger approaches the door. This could be a friend from afar. Or maybe you just need to move your car. This could be the one to steal your heart. Or this could be the one to tear it apart. thousand maybe the one to stand and deliver maybe the one to bring it all home to you yet yeah, ain't that just the chance you got to Publisher's Clearinghouse with a big fat check just waiting for you. Well, this could be the one in a million, maybe one in a thousand, maybe the one that will stand and deliver, maybe the one to bring it all home to you. Ain't that just a chance? You know, I'm not going to tell you this because it give you the big head, but I, I bet truth be known, you're you're probably one of the best, if not the best, songwriter we got in this organization. Oh, don't. Except you're, you're not as good. You're not as good as Chris Albert, but but other than that. Oh, I don't know about all that, but, but I, thank, thank no, you. No, I tell you what. No, you all, all every song you write, all your lyrics and everything, and, and the you're, melodies. You're good. Everybody here is good writers. I mean, this yeah, is, don't you think Alan's kind of special? I think they're all special. And now he's been he's been he's been political now, <laughs> or, hey, or Harry, smart. You he gotta be smart. careful because aren't you special has a different meaning here in the south. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh aren't you special? <laughs> but anyway, anyway, you're a good songwriter, Alan. Oh, well. and, and and Barb's the best though. I mean, she's got to be the best. She's special. I mean, she be able to play. <laughs> And all the music to it. Am I, am I unmuted? 
Yeah, hello. you're in. Hello, you're there. We can hear okay. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's I, a big Broadway. Uh, uh, she's a Broadway star. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do my prayer of peace for Israel because they're still tr struggling over there. Um, they're still in the news, and um, there's still a bunch of controversy. So. I think it should be a, a prayer for the Middle East all over the country. Those people are just mad at each other too much. Yeah, that's, that's the truth. It's been going on for probably three, four thousand years, too. Oh, Heavenly Father, protect all your people. Shield them from danger. Provide for the needful. Let your love shine like stars in the night. And gently pour on each Israelite. Oh God the Father, we call to you in prayer on behalf of the people of Israel. Give them strength to prevail. Oh, hear my prayer of peace for Israel. From Mount Sinai to the Western Wall Stone, May love and hope forever be known. In this our art and prayer, our hearts are revealed. For Judas' peace, O oh Lord, hear our solemn appeal. O oh God the Father, we call to you in prayer on behalf of the people of Israel. Give them strength to prevail. Oh, hear my prayer of peace for Israel. From the Statue of Liberty to the Golden Gate, we lift up our voices and admonish the hate. We pray for a plan of peace and the strength to fight. Lord, to find your love, a guiding light. Oh God the Father, we call to you in prayer on behalf of the people of Israel. Give them strength to prevail. Oh, hear my prayer of peace for Israel. Alan, I take back what I said, Barb's best. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. That's a beautiful song. Barb McMillan, folks, President Emeritus and founder of the organization, Dallas Songwriters Association. Ever released that, Bobby? No, I, I just wrote it back in October, and I haven't ha even had time to record it. Oh. It's really, it's beautiful melody. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to hear a choir. Yeah. yeah, it would be neat, wouldn't it? Yeah, with mm -hmm. strings. Yeah. Great song, Barb. Okay, that was Barb McMillan. Now, Chris Albert. Chris, here we go. I'm gonna give you the whole screen. Uh, here's a song I've been working on. It's it's not done, but it's it's there. And uh, any suggestions are welcome. I 
tried so many times to tell you I'm not the same guy who left I'm just a lonely man walking Just to reach the other side Take my soul and lift it high Take my life and let it go I don't want to think about the past loves I just need someone to hold me Take my home and let it be Take my country and live in peace Take my soul Great song. It's in the works. Okay, well, that's going to be another keeper. Going to be another keeper. I'm I having like trouble it. accepting the fact that it stays in the same chord structure all the time and doesn't drift off to a, maybe a bridge or something. That's the hmm. way it's done these days. I know, and it's. It, I'm having. That's why I wrote this, and I'm having. <laughs> I'm just in the mind, it just goes. Oh, oh. Well, you, know? you can use a looper. A looper. Uh huh. What's that? Well. Oh, you mean that little pedal thing that people use? Yeah. So they can play along with it. They can play oh, lead you have the same to their own change. rhythm. <laughs> if if you have the same chord change all the way through, like Ed Sheeran's songs, then you can use a looper and. Add well, I, I kind of came up with a bridge this afternoon, which it might work. When when I went into the "Don't Cheat My Games," that's where I did the bridge there, but it. I didn't play it right. It goes to E minor, A minor, so I'm I'm working, still working on it. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, folks, we got about eight or nine minutes. Unless y'all want to do one song each, let Alan end it with the uh, I'm with done. This minute song. I think it's time but, for Alan. You can skip me. I don't think we have enough time to do everybody. Okay, why don't we Dude. just why don't we just let Alan do that last song? You know he's. He wrote the ending, ending song, and Ace wrote the beginning song, and they're both kind of theme songs. So, Alan, could you do that? Yeah. Let's get Alan up here. I'll tell you what, we'll put Alan, give him the spotlight, replace spotlight. Then I'm going to put it on gallery view, if I can find it here. Alan, right. some Alan's not listening. Oh, I'm listening. Can, can oh. you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I'm just multitasking. Uh -oh. You have CDs out? Alan, do you have a CD out? No, but I got songs on the streaming services. Oh, okay. under my name. Oh, okay. And maybe six or seven or so, I think. Yeah. And I got more. I need to uh, upload it there. But. Uh, I've actually earned a dollar fifty six cents so far in the streaming service. That's good. <laughs> divide, but I divide, saw her. You divide that by point one cent and it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot that, of streams. That could buy also, you a new A string. I also earned uh what was it, about thirteen dollars from BMI? Yeah. Because I reported playing and I, I look closer at the uh, PDF. 
It was because I reported the songs I played at Wildflower last year. Oh, wow. And they pay me a little over $2 a song. For BMI Live, you can report what you play live. But as I had a few discussions with a few people, including Barbara, you want to be kind of careful. Some of these smaller venues don't pay any of those uh, yeah. performance rights organizations, and so they might come a calling and threaten to sue them if they don't pay, or blah, blah, blah. And, and I'd rather them continue with live music or open mics and get them in I think trouble. Somebody told me they were claiming love and war, because I think love and war has got a BMI. Does anybody know? I, 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 I did put, have entered for love and war a couple times, but I'm, uh, it's still pending, whatever that means. But I would think they would be paying. But, but actually, we've only I, had an audience of about, you know, half a dozen at Love and War. So. Yeah, but but they, when you report your live performances, you're just given a some, certain op options like one to a thousand people. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, or a thousand to five thousand, whatever. You know, it's kind of large numbers. So anyway, and then what do you do at Wildflower? I mean, how many people are attending Wildflower, what's the fair number? We're on that little stage that we get, you know. How many walk past, you don't know. Yeah, so I <laughs> But I know uh, it was last year I played after the thunderstorm, so it, uh, <laughs> about the only audience we had was the, the two contest people that had played their sets and were very gracious to stick around and hear Bill's in my final sets. Yeah. Well, okay, Alan. And, and here's Stephen Valenzuela when he spoke at one of the Thursday night meetings here that mentioned the BMI Live stuff. And I, I look into that. But I hear Dan Rourke reported at a little club that Rob Case had an open mic and they weren't paying. And when the, the uh, people came to call, it scared the bejesus out of them, so they quit having live music. So. I don't do that. But restaurants really should have be paying five organizations all together. BMI, ASCAP, CSA, you know, there's five oh of them. Boy. If they really want to cover their butt, if you just have piped in music, you can, that's cheaper. You can get a special Spotify account. Anyway, Google it. That's what I did. That's how I learned that stuff. There's three performance rights organizations. Yeah. Well, there's four. BMI, ASCAP, and CSAC. Well, if you Google it, one of the articles I said named five that if it's you church really music, can. you can do uh, CCLI, but I understand CCLI's got a, a partnership with BMI, so you can. That's uh, church, isn't it, yeah. CCLI? CCLI is church, church, but apparently they've got a, a partnership with BMI so that, you know, you can use your BMI registration to cover stuff played at a CCLI place or something like that. I don't know the details. Huh. Well, all right. I think we brought it closer to 9 o'clock now, right? Yeah, it's going to be perfect. I got one minute left for one more song. Harry says this tune can't be too long. Yeah, I feel like I better pick up the pace. Or blue-haired teen with a ukulele takes my place. Now there's half a minute left to finish and persuade. Someone to hire me for a gig where I actually get paid. There's a girl up front and I want to impress her, but there's so little time, so much pressure, but oh, it's too late now, cause look. Here comes the hood. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. Right. Thank you for letting me be the yeah. host tonight. And then uh, all you folks out there on Facebook, we thank you all for sitting in and listening. Come see us live tomorrow night at Six Springs. Yeah, that's, that's going to be our first and last time to play there. Our so. inaugural inaugural farewell performance. Yeah. That the place is closing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we but finally sure got a, a got a deal there, and, and then they closed. So. They do have a lot of little gigs booked this month. I know it's on their Facebook page. I mean, you know, acts. I don't know. 
Anyway. Oh, we lost Ace. Okay, he went. He left. He didn't even want to say good. He's got to take care of the dogs. Take care of the dogs. Well, anyway, I'm going to 